everybody. Um, I have a, a thrift store haul and just checking in about my progress on buying the RV and me and the kids today went to um, Goodwill. Um, in America we have thrift stores. That's what we call them here. I don't know what other countries call them but yeah thrift stores and it's great. You get you know, like basically consignment stores, you get used stuff, people's used clothing and stuff. But with I have two kids, as you've been watching now. My son's harder to find clothes for, and I got all these shirts for him. There's six shirts here. Okay, so, and then I got him two pairs of shorts, and I got this. It's so cute. It's like name brand too um i've seen this brand at the mall before and i mean it's like super well made you guys can't see but that is just so nice and there's not one little stain on it or anything a dollar 98 pretty good otter did really good too there's like some main items i'm really uh excited about this is one of them. My daughter got this. It's so freaking cute. Look at it. She's in love with it. It was like three dollars. Designed in Los Angeles. Yeah. Some like little softy shorts. Comfy, simple. Pair of Lee jeans. I mean, they're like in perfect condition. $2.98 got like some she got some tops here nothing little Tweety Bird be cool or stay cool dun -dun -dun. for me excited about all of them but two of which I'm like super excited about I like unique kind of weird stuff like that like even this shirt I'm wearing is um I believe it's a nine west or you know, one of those name brand ones, but look how unique it is. I got that at a thrift store too, and it's like, feels like silk almost, but it's probably rayon. What brand is that? Let's see if we can read it from here. Yep, J. Crew. And this is so nice, dude, and I wear it all the time, and it's just so soft, it's like silk. I probably paid a few bucks at a thrift store for that. So like guys out there that spend hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars on your women's clothes and shoes, or even women that do, ladies, stop it. Don't do it. <laughs> You're just wasting money. We don't have all this endless material to make all these freaking clothes. You know, it's not just the cotton, it's the oil, it's everything. The electricity, everything you produce it. This top, you guys, this is one of the items I got today that is so unique. It's so pretty on me. When I saw it, I like saw it from across the store <laughs> or the room. I got some shoes. I've been, oop, it's kind of see-through. I've been wanting to get some shoes. And I like these, but they're, I like the other ones like more even. So these are the first pair. They're just Italian um, leather heels, still in wonderful shape. $7.96. Some lady probably paid about $100 for these. Italian leather shoes, like well made like this, are not cheap. So I think I did better than I could have even done with the BOGO at Payless. All right, you guys. Dun, dun, dun. I wish I actually had drum roll music. I'll get good. I'm gonna start learning how to edit this stuff. Like so good. Like Emma Chamberlain, all the girls I love. Yeah. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Look at these little guys. Yeah. Yeah. You can just keep falling in love. And being jelly, but they're mine and not yours. Sorry, you might be able to find a pair somewhere, dude. Are you seeing how cool those are? <coughs> and they're like flannel inside. I love the buckle on the back, 
I love the shoelace. Like, it's like, yeah, I don't know. That's just hot. And then, look, the inside is so cute. And it says Rock and Candy by Ziggy. Rock and Candy by Ziggy. I've never even seen that brand before. But how cute. And just how well made, too. There's like a few little things. I'll have to trim that. The front's a little bit worn, and that's probably why whoever got rid of them got rid of them. So, you know, you can't have it all. <laughs> I paid $7.96 $7 for these as well. Looks new, about 80 I don't know. I mean, to me, that's what that, these kind of shoes look like. And, I mean, if you start getting into designers and stuff, too, like, I might not know anything about this designer. It could be some awesome designer from Europe and this is actually like a $600 pair of shoes I'm holding. That happened to me. Let me show you guys something. Hold on. Exactly. My grandma bought me this sweater um, at the thrift store and um, she just, you know, she thought it was cute and everything so she picked it up and <clears throat> okay. First of all, it's Ralph Lauren. Okay. Ralph Lauren, 100% cashmere. Small, petite, my size. Exactly. Cashmere, beautiful sweater. Very soft. Cute little buttons. Okay. So I was like, you know, I'm going to look this up and see how much the sweater's worth. $1,500. There were some that were like 800 bucks and um, 1200 and stuff like that. But, um, sorry, I had a tissue around here. Oh, there it is. But the buttons, like any of the sweaters that had the little buttons on it on the side there, they were all $1,500. And especially this cut, I noticed. The different cuts, I mean, there's like different prices for different cuts, but this particular sweater, the one I could find closest to it, they didn't have this exact one still, and I looked through like a lot of sweaters, <laughs> um, but yeah, this, and there's nothing wrong with this sweater, absolutely nothing, in perfect condition. I don't even know why someone would get rid of that, but... I'm glad I got it for two dollars so yeah I'm gonna try that sweater on for you guys and just stay tuned dun, 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 dun. Ta -da. I gotta be all fierce like a supermodel mm. Mm. Ooh, I will stab you. Oh, you're nothing. I will get you. No, but whatever models do. And Anyways, I'm rambling. But isn't that like the cutest top ever? Seriously. And I'm wearing my shoes because I needed a little bit of height. Mm. Yeah, and I mean, it's just so cute, and it's comfy here. I'll put the phone back up, and then I'll do a turnaround. That's what the back looks like. I mean, it's just so unique. Like, all these little things don't hang exactly symmetrical, and I love that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, so I like this top. I think it turned out good. And I kind of, like, learn how to be more sexy. Um, I've never been a very, like you know, smooth kind of girl. It's been more like Tina Fey or Izzy, um, yeah, brain fart. A lot of them, a lot of them funny, vicarious, bold chicks. So I'm trying to like turn that in or like get that mixed in with my like Southern girl kind of way. I should have put a bra on with this top. What am I thinking? 
I think I'm gonna redo this whole thing with a bra on. Yeah. Hold on. Is Izzy Azalea? I'm pretty sure. long blonde hair. Um, she. I saw her on Netflix like a month ago. I'm pretty sure it's Iggy Azalea. Hey, you guys can probably see my shoes pretty good from this angle. I can lift them up so you can see them. I mean, those are just hot and they fit me so good and they're so comfortable. I never thought I would say that about a pair of shoes like that. Let me show you the other one. Yeah, very cute. Okay, so with the bra on, <laughs> yeah, I love this top. I'm in love with it. I'm sorry I'm spending so much time on it. <sighs> yeah. For 33, and I had my heart surgery. See my scar? I had open heart surgery. I get out of breath. That's why you guys might hear that sometimes, so. I just like being funny. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. That's what I found today. These cool shoes. Yeah. <clears throat> and this awesome top. And all those kids' clothes. So yeah. Yeah. Um, now, let's go ahead and do my show. I am a show. And this channel is full of shows. This particular playlist are my episodes of... Um, my, my travel vlog, basically. Vlog, pardon me. I will have a blog coming, but, you know. I don't want to go too much older than, like, 2000. Year 2000. <laughs> Not $2,000. Um, because it's just like, some of the RV parks do have, um, limits on the year, you know. And... I want to be able to have something that um, I can take in there, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. I'm so discombobulated right now. I usually have notes. <laughs> it's usually a lot easier, so. Basically, I'm giving up the bricks and sticks thing, and I'm going for RV living. I'm going to start it out a little slower. I'm not going to go right for full time. I'm going to kind of like park in families' um, yards and in like RV park. There's an RV park too in my hometown. Um, so I, that's really cool actually. It has like a pool and it's it's pretty nice. I'll be staying there mainly and then I'm gonna be traveling with the kids um, for a good portion of the year. Um, really the state of Florida does not like when you go back and forth between homeschooling and regular school. Um, if any of you guys know like how that works because I, I kind of I just want to try it out for a year or two um, I'm not really wanting to do it for, you know, until they graduate. And from what I read, like, do one or the other. You know, the, the credits don't transfer. Um, I did find a virtual, uh, public online program that you actually get your credits. Um, I forget the name of it. Anyways, I want to show you guys my new SUV out here. So let's go out here and look at that and um, you'll see where my progress has been there. I got the perfect thing to, to pull my um, travel trailer. Out here to my SUV. Woo -woo. I needed these taller shoes. I'm so glad I got them. Oh, I love it because I'm short too. So like, oh God, I love it. I could just wear these all the time. I know my feet would get tired, but Man, I just feel so hot and smoking in them. Can you see from behind, maybe? I'm gonna give up on that one. All right. This is, dun -dun -dun, my new baby. Oh yeah, we got V8. It's got the same engine that Mustangs have. 300 horsepowers in this baby. And it's the V8. And it is the 4x4. It's so dirty right now, y'all. Do not look 
at the dirt. I'm gonna be getting it waxed. I'm gonna be doing all kinds of stuff to it. So it's gonna be a lot cleaner. Um, and there's four different four by four packages that you can get with the Ford um, Explorers. And this has the top four by four package in it. And it's the XL version. It's got the um, leather interior. It's dirty right now. I'm gonna be getting the interior um, shampooed and detailed. Um, and there's a few little minor things, like I gotta fix whatever that little thing is there, but it's in really good condition. Yeah, it just needs to be cleaned up. It's not cute to be all dirty like that. I wanna get it waxed. But this is what I'm going to use to pull my uh, travel trailer. It's got a wonderful motor in it. Oh man, the motor is so clean. Uh, I want to show you guys this motor. It is just beautiful. Like, uh, everything's tight. The wires are where they're supposed to be. I mean, it, someone must have took perfect care of this thing. And it, and it definitely, me and my... Um, where do you pop the oh here it is me and my husband um figured uh like one person one single owner must have had it and definitely not a family um yeah so there we go. look at that look at that y'all just beautiful perfect engine. I mean, just everything. It's clean. It's never had any leaky fluid in there. You know, no leaky oil or transmission fluid. Because that's what mainly gets the engine all dirty. Just see how clean it all is in there? Yep. 4.6 I mean it's nice and Ford's you know I got a Ford because I don't know much about engines I don't know how to repair much in them um I've watched I'm trying to learn I can do an oil change for the most part by myself as long as the um screw when you go to unscrew the um oil filter as long as it's not too um tight then i can do them so what else i can change a tire <laughs> i can put fluids in and i can check my fluids all of them and most engines i know where all the fluids go um what else yeah i don't know just like the basics i know how to do basics um but i'm not so anyways i'm not an expert and i wanted to get a ford because fords are easy to work on they're you know most mechanics are good at them they're they're cheap to get worked on um i'll be able to keep up with the maintenance on my vehicle better that way so that's always a plus yeah, baby. <laughs> I like to think in long term. Where's my dog? Cadence. I am loving this new iPhone, man. I tell you. Whew, so much better. Y'all probably already noticed on um, not my last episode on here, but on my swap over review for this phone which was the last video that um, I uploaded, like my own personal video. I upload like other stuff, movies and music videos and stuff like that. And I just do that because I think it's cool stuff I want you guys to watch and that's basically it. I mean, I don't know, like, I hope I don't lose people for that. I've, I've thought about that, like, should I even do that, you know? But it's stuff I like to share, and like some of it's really good stuff. I have, um, uh, I was trying to put an inconvenient truth on there, but it kept getting flagged. But I have like, um, before the flood. Oh, my son came in here. I have before the flood with, um, Leonardo DiCaprio. 
And that's a really good movie about um, global warming, which I'm really, really into. Um, yeah, it's actually part of the reason that I'm doing the whole tiny home thing is because I want to be an advocate for um, smaller living, more responsible living, having less stuff. That's why I go to thrift stores and buy used and, you know, everything I buy used. Um, and I think living in a smaller space is going to produce less um, waste, you know. They, 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 sh they have charts that you can actually see and Americans use the most um, resources, you know, the most fuel, I think, is actually the, bleh, the specific chart I was looking at. My hair is driving me nuts. It's so flat at the top today. It's just, I, I feel bald. So, anywho, um, yeah, uh, we need to start living smaller and more plain and minimal. So that's part of why I'm doing what I'm doing. We'll have more freedom financially, you know, be able to pay only 200 or 300 dollars a month to stay somewhere with minimal hookups or 400 with full hookups and a pool and a laundry and a petting zoo and like all this amazing stuff that like literally to live that kind of lifestyle, you'd have to pay like $2,000 a month easy easy so um yeah and i can just about buy a travel trailer for two thousand dollars <laughs> you know my price range for my um travel trailer is going to be four grand it's just so y'all know that's not something people talk about much i've noticed on these uh travel blog vlogs um i could think of half a dozen off the top of my head uh that i really love their rigs uh, um, that I follow um, and I like watch all their videos and stuff and I have really never heard them say how much they paid for their rig even in their uh, reveals and stuff oh I wanted to show you guys this bracelet too I got at the pawn shop um, it's sterling silver and real diamonds it was $80 that's just the clasp it's really unique and pretty too. See? I'm trying to figure out what brand uh what brand it is. It's hard to see on this camera for some reason. It's like making the details really blurry cuz these details are sharp and blingy. I just had a sore throat, phlegm and everything. It was so gross. That's sexy, huh? Sounds like really mommy. Who are you trying to be sexy for? Hey, Nobody. Daddy. Nobody, baby. Oh, cookie. Nobody, baby. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Um, no, I just want to look good. Is that wrong? Is that a crime? I'm a highly spiritual person. I feel like looking good is actually part of spirituality. Yeah, I don't know. I think like there's healthy ego, okay? Um Yeah, healthy ego. Okay? Just just that's all I got to say about that. Is there anything else? I think that's all you guys. <laughs> but I really appreciate you being here with me and um, watching the video. So go ahead and subscribe. I think actually I got to point this way. I don't know. Go subscribe. <laughs> we appreciate it. I love you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. And we'll see you next time.